Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss indexing version 1 and indexing version 2 in Commvault. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow us on Instagram. What is Index Cache? It is the working area where metadata and action logs are kept before creating the index. By default, the index cache is created on the media agent and is located in the software installation directory on a local disk in the media agent that produces the index. In Commvault, the indexing version 1 was used until version 10 of Commvault. From version 11 they switched to indexing version 2. As per Commvault, the following diagram illustrates the indexing version 1 architecture, which is the original Commvault indexing architecture in version 1. Indexing occurs at the sub-client level. Each data backup job produces its own index on a single media agent. When the data backup has been completely written to a storage library, the system creates a copy of the index and moves the copy to the same library. The indexing version 1 operation occurs in line with the backup operation itself, so success of the backup operation depends on the success of the indexing operation, and vice versa. On top of it, incremental or differential backups restore the previous index for the cycle, append their index data to it, and then backup the resulting whole index. Thus, the index for the cycle grows significantly with each successive incremental or differential backup. Index cache data files are not normally deleted immediately when the job completes, but may be aged out later to obtain more working space if needed. Let's check how index cache version 1 look like. Log on to the media agent, and browse to the location, where index cache is located. Here you see list of directories created under indexing version 1. ICL label.txt file, shows the configuration information of index cache. Configuration information like, index cache is used by which media agent index cache ID, and other information which is useful while troubleshooting. In CV underscore index directory, is your index data reside. Browse subfolder 2. The directories seen here are for each sub-client of a client computer. Subdirectories are for the jobs that ran for a sub-client. These are all the index files that we were talking about. Let's open the job ID file using Notepad. The file contains the job ID and the client name. Let's go through other folders to check on what we have. Restore directory has some index which was restored for some client computers when needed. Let's check on indexing version 2. Indexing version 2, is the next generation version of Commvault indexing subsystem. In indexing version 1, the index is created at sub-client level. But, in indexing version 2 it is created at backup set level. As per the indexing version 2 architecture, you have backup media agent, and index server. During a data backup, actual data, and metadata means characteristics about the data being backed up, such as file name, file size, creation date, etc., travel to media agent. Action logs containing backup metadata are first created on the backup media agent, and then played back, to create one or more indexes on the index server media agent, which is common to the entire backup set. Since the indexing operation doesn't need to be local to the backup media agent, 
One index server media agent can control indexing operations for multiple backup media agents. During the data backup job, the action logs and the full index are also backed up to the same storage library used for the data backup. Action logs are files containing metadata that are created during the data backup process. Action logs are subsequently played back to create one or more indexes. This metadata is useful because it allows certain processes to obtain information about backed up files without searching through the actual backup itself. Index backup is the process by which a full index is copied to a storage library and retained according to system rules. Each index backup can be used to recover an index in the event that the active index becomes corrupted or is unintentionally deleted. Here, index is a database containing the metadata for backed up data. The index is created during the data backup process by playing action logs to it. The index is used by find, browse, restore, and other operations. Index cleanup. The system retains the active index in the media agent's index cache indefinitely, so that it can be accessed during operations, such as browse and find, and reporting. During data backup jobs, the system writes new action logs into the index, thus keeping the active index continuously updated. Please note. The system never deletes an active index from the index cache during normal operations. However, if a user deletes a backup set from a client, the system deletes the index associates with that backup set. When the system ages off backed up data via retention rules, the system flags that data and deletes its associated metadata from the active index. This process, called compaction, decreases the size of the index and frees up storage space. The directory structure of indexing version 2 looks like this. Let's check what we have in there. Log on to the media agent, and browse to the location, where index cache is located. Here you see list of directories created under indexing version 2. You notice some new directories compared to the ones created under indexing version 1. ICL label.txt file shows the configuration information of index cache. Configuration information like index cache is used by which media agent, index cache ID, and other information which is useful while troubleshooting. In CV underscore index directory is your index data reside. Browse subfolder 2. The directories seen here are for each backup set of a client computer. These are all the index files that we were talking about. Let's open the job ID file using Notepad application. The file contains the job ID and the client name. These are all collect files which provide information of the location where relevant index files are present for a client computer. Let's go through other folders to check on what we have. Running jobs directory has the current running job index location. As the name suggests, the index DB is located here. Index DB, operational logs should be, actions logs or transactional logs as per the architecture. These logs should be playback action logs for index DB.
Let's check the advantages of using index in version 2. Common Vault Index in version 2 has the following new key features and benefits. Please review the feature and its benefits to understand more. Apply the following best practices to obtain the best results with local index storage. Ensure you periodically review these, so you ensure the index cache is working as it should be.